Call 1-866-955-0429. Scan here or go to kp.org slash local. That's 1-866-955-0429. Or go to kp.org slash local now. Big trucks are dangerous, and they can cause big, bad injuries. But the big trucking companies don't stand a chance against us. We fight to get you paid. Call us. We're the Law Brothers. Call now or visit lawbrothers.com. Watch Off the Clock, weekdays at 2 on KTLA 5. Now at four, a chilling murder of an elderly man in Garden Grove. A security camera helps the victim's family find that suspect. Good afternoon. This is the KTLA 5 News at 4. I'm Samantha Cortese. And hi there. I'm Courtney Friel in today for Pedro. Police say the suspect assaulted the victim in his apartment on Wednesday night. The victim's son saw the transient through their home's ring camera and rushed home where he encountered that suspect. KTLA 5 Shelby Nelson is tracking this case for us. She joins us live in Garden Grove with all of the details. What happened, Shelby? Hi, Sam and Court. Yeah, this truly is tragic. That victim, 87-year-old Chuang Pham, had come here to the United States back in the early 90s or the mid-90s from Vietnam. We spoke to his two sons earlier today who are understandably heartbroken. They say he had lived... Wednesday evening, staying for more than an hour. He was resting in the other room. He walked with my dad to go to his my dad's room, and then another camera is the door closed. The family alerted during a bizarre FaceTime call. Con Pham says another relative called his dad through FaceTime, and he says it was the suspect, not his dad, who answered the phone and started yelling. Con says his brother, who lived with his dad, was alerted and rushed to their apartment. They opened my dad's door. And he saw the man stand and look at him, and my dad's on the floor, on the carpet, with blood everywhere, and he tied my dad. They say their dad's hands were bound by a phone cable. Khan's brother left, calling for help to subdue the suspect. In the video, you hear what sounds like a struggle just outside the front door. We hold him down because the son saying that my, my dad is dying. That guy killed my, my, uh, that guy killed my dad. He's bleeding. The Good Samaritan, who did not want to be identified, says as soon as he noticed the suspect didn't have a weapon, he helped subdue him. There was no weapons found at the scene, but during the assault, we don't know if there was additional um, items, household items that could have been used to, to strike the victim. Garden Grove police later responded to reports of a burglary in progress. Brangato, who was being restrained, was arrested. Chuang was taken to a hospital where he was pronounced dead. Again, the motive for this crime is now being investigated, and Pham's sons tell us that they did in that video see the suspect rummaging through drawers, so this could be a burglary. In the meantime, police say that Pham was found severely beaten, but a cause of death is now being determined by the coroner. That's the very latest from Garden Grove. I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News. All right, Shelby, thank you so much for that report. In other news at 4 o'clock, Los Angeles Mayor Karen Bass has announced a plan to deploy a 24-7 unarmed crisis team along the Ventura Boulevard Business Corridor in Sherman Oaks. The team is part of the city's circle program made up of a mental health professional team and some other individuals. This is video of the group on a previous patrol. The team reaches out to the homeless to see how they can help and provide information about services. Mayor Bass says the program is a proven success. The circle team also responds to calls involving loitering, noise complaints, substance abuse, and other issues. And if you need to request the team's help, the number is on the screen right there. It's the LAPD's non-emergency line, 877-275-5273.
Police say two teenagers are in custody in connection with the stabbing of two students at Van Nuys High School. Security has been increased at the school following Wednesday's violence on campus. And now at four, we're learning more about the potential mo motive.